Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Nutblaster here and today I am going to be showing you guys how to sign into your account, how to start up your games, apps, um, whenever the Xbox Live servers are down. So yeah, this is some sort of a bypass. You got to do it quick. You got to time it right. If not, it's going to sign you out as soon as you go back online because it's part of the process. So what you're going to want to do here, want to go, you're going to want to go offline. But before that, I'm just going to show you that it's not going to let me sign in. I'm going to try to sign in right now. It's just going to stay there for a bit. And then it's going to, something's going to pop up saying that I can't sign in. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing that pops up for y'all. So yeah, let me go back. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. You're going to want to go over here where it says go offline, go offline, easy and simple, choose profile, you're going to want to sign into your account offline, and then, don't go back online yet, i got to explain to you how to do this so it doesn't kick you out, signing you in, it should, in, it should instantly sign you in when you're offline, like right here, if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, work uh, ah, fuck, if it doesn't work the first time when you're offline, just go right back into it, and bam, there you go. It should sign you in offline, like on the first try, but anyways, if it doesn't, just do that. That's how it works. Let's go to network settings, and here's the tricky part. You're going to, going to go online, all right? You're going to want to go online, and you're instantly want to, going to go open the YouTube app or Grove app. Any app, you're just going to want to go open it so it doesn't kick you out. Because it may not kick you out at the first... Like the first few seconds, but then it will. So this is the thing you have to do so it doesn't kick you out. You gotta go and open an app, alright? Gonna go online. Gonna rapidly go to my games and apps. Apps. Go down to YouTube. We're gonna wanna open the YouTube app. And as you guys can see, it's gonna open the YouTube app, but no issue. I have a storm coming in right now, so yeah, my internet is kinda slow. Sorry to say that. Anyways, bam, there you go. YouTube loaded up. And you can now see your friends online. And um, the messages will not work. That's an honest opinion. Or an honest fact. My bad. Anyways, um, it's only going to let you open the games that you have bought on the account that is set as home Xbox on the console. So, yeah, let's say uh, well, right now I'm game sharing with my friend. So, basically, his account is set as home Xbox on my console. So it's gonna let me open the games that uh, he has bought, alright? You guys see, PUBG's gonna load up right now. My fucking bad about this fucking rain, bro, I swear. Anyways, let's see right here, loading up PUBG, no issue. Uh, didn't care. It's not gonna let you sync your data. Uh, it, might, it might let you, it might not, but anyways, if it doesn't, then just use offline. And bam, there you go. You got to start up the game. Now, let me just give you a demo with a game that I have on my main account that is not set as home Xbox. As you guys see, it's not going to let me start it up. Bam, it kicks me out. But you don't got to worry about that. You just got to play the games that you know you have bought on the account that's set as home Xbox. Anyways, that is the easiest way to bypass this. It's for meanwhile, you know, it's not your fault. It's basically... The Xbox Live server is not working. You see right here, it still says they're down, but it already got you signed in. Um, do not sign out. If you do sign out, it's not going to let you sign back in, so you're going to have to do the whole process again. Anyways, if it worked, you just got home from school, you know, you're trying to get on YouTube or anything, you can't because you can't sign in. This is what you got to do, and yeah.